What's up, guys? It's Friday, and so you know what that means. It's time for What The Fitness. What the f And this week, we have a returning challenger, Mr. Dave Asprey. That just writes itself, I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Have fun with that, Brian. For those who don't know Dave, he is the owner of Bulletproof Company, coffee, whatever. The same man who said that you should probably inject your urine to help you out with allergies. There's that. Biohacking just means you say really crazy shit and assume people will believe you. A few weeks ago, Dave posted on his Twitter, macronutrients are stupid. There's so many different ways I could take that. Um, I did an Instagram post on this. I wasn't aware that macronutrients had IQs or were some kind of sentient being. I addressed what I thought he was attempting to say. We ain't gonna talk about that though. We're gonna talk about a more recent post where the title was, Why Calories Are Stupid. Once again, calories, last time I checked, unit of measurement, not sentient beings. It's alive. Oh, it's alive not capable of intelligence or lack of intelligence. But I will address what I think he was trying to say. And he put up a picture of, shit, I gotta go check to make sure I got the picture. So he put up a picture of a slab of beef and a big lollipop. And under the slab of beef was 30% and under the lollipop was 10%. And what he was talking about was calories are stupid because these different foods have different levels of what's called TEF, the thermic effect of food. Now he didn't really go super in depth into it, but I will help fill in the gaps. Basically, in order to get the energy out of food, your body has to put a certain amount of energy into food. Protein is the highest TEF, anywhere between 20 to 30%, depending on the study. Carbohydrate is about five to 10%, and fats are about zero to 3%. Interestingly, puts up a picture of beef, which is mostly protein and fat, not just protein. So the overall TEF of that beef is probably pretty likely close to 10%, the same as the freaking lollipop. Anyway, Let's just play this out. He's trying to say tracking your calories is stupid because you know different foods have different outcomes on energy expenditure. Absolutely different foods can have different outcomes on energy expenditure. But it's important to understand how much this actually changes things. Fortunately for us, I have done some calculations. So on a 2000 calorie diet, let's take what the food guide pyramid, although I know it's retired, RIP food guide pyramid. The recommendations are about 2000 calories a day, 15% from protein, 55% from carbohydrate, and 30% from fat. And let's compare that to a diet three times higher in protein, equal in fat, Basically, we're just replacing the carbohydrate with protein. So you've got 45% protein, 25% carbohydrate, 30% fat. How much does this actually change your daily TEF? We're talking three times more protein. Okay? Most people do not increase their protein by that amount. But if you do, hey, great, protein's awesome, cool. Does it just turn you into this fat burning furnace where you can just eat as much as you want without regard for calories? Let's find out because Dave, I passed basic. Damn. Let's find out. Because Dave, I passed basic. <laughs> Fuck me. What am I turning to Mike Tyson? Hmm. Mm hmm. Let's find out. Because Dave, I passed basic arithmetic. If we assume that protein is 30% TEF, carbohydrates are 10, and fats are, let's say, 2%. I know I said between 0 and 3%. Let's just take 2%. It doesn't really matter because both diets are equal in fat, so that number is gonna be the same anyway. If we look at the lower protein diet, the evil food guide pyramid recommendations that are making us all fat, that means you have 300 calories from protein on a 2000 calorie diet, 1100 from carbohydrate and 600 from fat. Your net, assuming these numbers, would be 210 calories from protein, 990 from carbohydrate and 588 from fat, for a 1,788 calorie net on a 2,000 calorie diet for this evil food guide pyramid diet. Now, if we look at the high protein diet, you have a gross of 900 calories from protein, 500 from carbohydrate, and 600 from fat. The net would be 630 from protein, 450 from carbohydrate, 588 
from fat, leading to 1,668 calorie net for a 120 calorie difference. A whopping 120 calories by tripling your freaking protein intake. Is that significant? Absolutely. And protein is more satiating than carbohydrate or fat, so that can be really helpful. Oh, by the way, fat has the lowest TEF. I noticed Dave didn't mention that, probably because he tells people to put sticks of butter in their fucking coffee. So how's that TEF working out, Dave? You know, you can't really just invoke calories when you want to and then pretend they don't fucking exist at other times. Yes, 120 calories a day if you triple your protein intake. Fabulous, awesome. It's not the cure for the obesity crisis. TEF is just not that big of a contributor to our daily energy expenditure. Again, I think a high protein diet has a lot of utility, not only because of the TEF outcome, but because it also is more satiating. This idea that you can just completely disregard calories because if you eat a high protein diet, you have higher TEF, great. It's 120 calories. You know how many calories are in a stick of butter, Dave? A stick of butter is about, fuck, 810, approximately. 810. You could have an eighth of a stick of butter, a tablespoon, and the TEF that you just made this big freaking deal about is now gone. You make a decent point about differences in food sources and how they affect your energy expenditure. But then you completely fucking lose it when you're talking about bulletproof coffee and putting butter in your coffee. So I'm sorry, this, I wouldn't call it hypocrisy because I'm not sure you're smart enough to, to understand why it's hypocritical. But this just shows how little you understand about human physiology. My advice to you, take the butter out of your coffee, eat a higher protein diet because it is helpful for weight loss and stop perpetuating bullshit. All right, guys, if you like the video, make sure to like the video, click the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you next week.